Hey everyone and welcome to another Crusader Kings 3 modding tutorial on the Iron Workshop. In this tutorial we'll learn how to change the game end date, which specifies when the game ends. So in order to change the end date, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new mod just to make sure that I'm not modifying any original or vanilla game files. If you already have a mod, you can just incorporate the next steps into your own mod. So I'll go to mods, mod tools, create mod, and I'll just call it the end date mod. You can call it whatever you want. And we'll do the same thing for the folder. And we'll just assign it the gameplay tag, create mod. Excellent. Our mod has been created and has been enabled by the game. The next thing that we'll have to do is to copy some files from the vanilla game. So I'll open the mod folder for Crusader Kings 3 that's located in Documents, Paradox Interactive, Crusader Kings 3 mod. And in here we have the folder that we created in the launcher. So I'm going to open it. And alongside that, I'm going to open the vanilla original game folder, which is located in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Crusader Kings 3 game. From here, we'll need the common folder. So I will create that folder in my own mod. And inside the common folder, there's a folder called defines. So I will create this folder as well. And inside the defines folder, you'll find the file called 00defines. So let's copy that file over to our mod. And I'm going to change the name of this file. I'll just call it the new start date. Now let's open this file and see what we have inside. So this file has a lot of settings for the game. We're not really going to go over them. The only setting that we are currently interested in is the end date. So currently the end date is 1453. So we can change the end date right here, but if you want to increase the compatibility of your mod or that changes the end date, it's best to create just one entry that changes this and the rest of the entries will be read from the original game in case Paradox updates Crusader Kings 3 and then the two files will not clash. So to do that, what we're going to do is the following. We're going to press Ctrl plus A delete. This way we're clearing the entire file. And now you'll need to type the following N, that needs to be a capital N, defines with a capital D as well, written together like that, dot N game, dot end underscore date, equals quotation marks and now you just need to set up the date when you want the game to end. For example, it can be 2001.1 and then you just save the file and that's it. Your game will run until the 1st of January 2000. So that is all you need to know about changing the end date in Crusader Kings 3. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video, lesson or tutorial on the Iron Workshop. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. The algorithm and me will be very happy. Here are more videos I make. If you like my stuff, consider subscribing to be notified when new content is available. The Iron Workshop lives and thrives thanks to the continued support of my Patreons. If you are willing and able, you can support me on Patreon for just one buck and get access to exclusive and early content. See you around.